This is a tutorial for creating kernel density plots in R using data from the Centers for Disease Control. Kernel density plots are usually a much more effective way to visualize a distribution than it is with using histograms. So this lab assumes that you've already read in the CDC data from open intro and have created the uh, BMI variable. If uh, you haven't done that, then uh, you should review lab 2. Again, I have here uh, a script file open. I'll be running commands from this. They'll appear in the console. You can see that I have uh, the CDC data set and a BMI variable or vector open. Um, the, the basic way to create a density plot is simply to type in plot, open parenthesis, and then density, followed by uh, the variable for which you want the density plot. So it's really straightforward. And uh, when you do that, you wind up with this. You can see the basic uh, distribution for BMI for everyone in the data set. Um, but this is an incredibly busy and uh, um, distracting visual display. So there's a lot of cleaning up that we want to do with that. The first thing I think is to remove the box around the plot. And you do that with this option, BTY equals N, meaning you're getting rid of the box type. So do that and the box disappears. Second thing I'd like to do is extend the uh, X uh, axis uh, I know we know from uh, lab 2 that uh, BMI actually runs out to uh, 73 and so uh, we'd like to extend the axis here to cover that entire range and we do that again with the XLIM uh, option in plot uh, along with uh, uh, setting the, uh, the values at 10 and 80 and uh, you can see we just extended the plot that way. Um, third thing I'd like to do is typically in density plots, unlike uh, histograms, um, it's not necessary to have the axis here or the axis label. It's uh, uh, fairly clear that uh, you're graphing the density um, so the the label is redundant and uh, we don't really need to know how uh, uh, the, the, the scale here isn't always that helpful. So what I want to do is remove the label. I want to remove the axis but uh, again I also want to set the length of the y-axis to a particular amount so when I compare different kernel uh, or kernel density plots, they would be the same height. So uh, to do that, we're going to use the uh, uh, we're going to say the uh, use the option y-axis type is no. Uh, we want to set the y-axis label to nothing, and we want to set uh, the y limit for that axis to zero and have it go up to point 0.1 and I choose point 0.1 because that would be right about here which is just over the top of that. So um, the command that we'll type in is this one. You can see that that whole axis disappeared. That's a much cleaner looking uh, graph now. Um, another thing I'd like to do um, with this density plot, I want to make the line of the plot a little bit wider. That's a relatively simple thing to do. You can do this with any type of graph. And I'm going to uh, simply set the line width here to twice its normal size by LWD equals 2. So I'll run that and you can see that that's uh, a little bit thicker. Um, I want to change the label again uh, from the n equals 20,000 in the bandwidth. I want it to uh, be clear that it's a body mass index that we're talking about. And uh, we're going to do that with the X lab option, just like uh, with histograms. So you see X lab equals body mass index there. Okay. And uh, again, we want to add a title that. Uh, um, that uh, is more descriptive than what's there and you do that with the sorry with the main option in the plot just like with a histogram so we'll 
we'll we'll uh, graph that. Okay, so that's uh, the basic uh, cleaned up uh, kernel density plot, and it's relatively easy to generate that quickly. Now, there's some other uh, some other things that I'd like to do with this, and all of them involve working with this particular plot. This plot that's open in this window. Now, you know, I can go back and look at previous plots. Whatever plot window I have open is the plot that I'm going to be working on. So I want to work on this final one here, okay? And uh, the first thing that I want to do, oh, and, and really what we're going to be doing with these different options is we're going to be adding layers on top of this graph. So the order in which you do these uh, matters. And the first thing that I'd like to do is fill in this uh, part of the distribution, the part under the curve, with a color. And we're going to use the polygon uh, command here to do that. And uh, we do that with polygon, again, density for BMI. And I'm going to use a particular color here, OK? So I'm going to go back over and look at my uh, HTML colors. And I don't want a dark color. I want something that looks a little bit transparent. And so instead of going with one of the colors here, I'll start with the red. But I'll move down the scale to something that looks a little bit more transparent. And I like this one, the FF9999. And so you would copy that. And then we would paste that into the relevant command. So Sorry, I did not. I want the CCC. So a little bit further down. This is the one that I want, so I would copy that and then move over, and I could paste that in right here. So instead of saying color equals red or color equals black, again, I'm going to pick a particular color here that'll, that'll give it some shading, but it'll be, it won't be uh, too dark. So we do that, and it comes out with this uh, kind of transparent-looking red. Now there's two other things that I want to do to this. I want to add lines, one line uh, one vertical line f the, to indicate the mean of this distribution and another vertical line to indicate the median of this distribution. And to do that, you use the uh, command AB line. So AB line, V for vertical, and I want to set that at a value that's equal to the mean of BMI. So I could type in any number here. I could type in 50. I could say AB line V equals 50, and it would draw a vertical line right here at 50. Uh, in this case, I want the, the value for the mean, and so I can just say get the value for the mean. Voila. Uh, a thin black line. Um, what I'd like to do, however, is make that line a little bit wider and uh, uh, not a black color. I'd like to make it a dark gray. And uh, if I go, you go over here and you look at the middle, the middle one that's white. You can see it runs from black to uh, white. And uh, this gray color, the the nine 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 nine, is a nice color. So you would uh, copy that move over and paste that into the color. So AB line, um, the vertical line is equal to the mean of BMI. The width of the line is 2, twice as wide as normal, and the color is going to be dark gray. So I'm going to run that, and you can see a very subtle shift there. Now this is one of those times what I did is I actually wrote over that thin black line. That thin black line is still a layer on this graph. It's underneath this gray line. And uh, actually, if I had done the line first and then put the polygon in, the coloring, this part of the line would be behind that polygon, and you wouldn't be able to see it. That's why I say the order in which you do these matters. Now, one last thing. I want to add a line for the median, and I'll make it dark gray. But I want to make it a dashed line. And so I'm going to do that with this uh, kind of the same as before, AB line, uh, vertical line, is equal to the median of BMI. It's going to be twice as wide as normal. It's going to be this dark gray, but uh, the line type is equal to 3. And I'll show you uh, line types in a moment uh, where you can uh, find out uh, what they are. But uh, let's run that. And there's the dashed line for the median. So because the median is to the right 
sorry, the because the mean is to the right of the median, you know that this uh, distribution is a has a longer right hand tail. Um, anyway, that is how you create uh, density plots in um, R. <coughs> Excuse me. As for line types, there's a couple different ways that you can find out about that. If you uh, simply type in, sorry, uh, graphical parameters, this will be. <laughs> This is not a great way to find out uh, what you're looking for with this help on graphical parameters, but uh, you could find that information in there. Another way is with a quick R and go to advanced graphics, graphical parameters, and uh, you see that there are different plotting symbols, there are different lines, and here are line types, LTY, and this third one is kind of this uh, easy dashed line. So that's uh, how we come up with the plot. Um, again, you know how to create a script file and run that. You know how to copy the graphs uh, from this window and paste them into Word.